So you're a producer or a musician or someone who works in the musical world. You might be at the beginning of your journey and running a really minimal small setup, or you could be running a multi-million dollar studio with A-list artists coming in every day. Regardless of where you are on that scale, you will have important files, projects, and data. And the amount that you have is only gonna keep increasing over time. Fundamentally, these files are your career, your livelihood, your business, your wealth. So of course you wanna take care of those files and manage them as best as you can. You of course wanna be able to access these files easily anywhere in the world and share them with anyone that you're working with. So if Ed Sheeran or The Weeknd hit you up for a collab, you can get started straight away and you can produce your chart-topping album and then retire on a desert island of your choice. I've spent a lot of time researching the best way to increase your organization and your versatility when you're working in a studio anywhere and what I discovered I really needed was a NAS. If you want a more detailed explanation of what a NAS is or all the other storage options that there are I'll link my video up here and down in the description so you can go and check those out. But essentially it stands for network attached storage just meaning that you have storage that is attached to a network. But of course not all NAS systems are equal. Some of the best ones that I've come across so far come from Synology. Their systems stood out to me above the crowd because they seem to have amazing hardware and software integration. They've got multiple different options ranging from smaller scale to much bigger scale. I reached out to Synology because I like their product so much and asked whether they'd be willing to send me something that I could test out and they very kindly sent me this DS1621+. Plus. It's amazing to actually have it here and I'm excited to get it set up. Now stick around and I'll explain my storage setup at the end. How have I integrated the NAS into the system to get the best use out of it? Let's dive into the three main reasons why your studio needs one. The first one being peace of mind. This is something that just can't be overlooked. There's nothing worse than working on an awesome idea or a cool project, especially with other people who are relying on you and then you lose your files. A hard drive corrupts or some data goes missing. It's happened to me on occasion and both of those occasions are once too many. <laughs> if you can avoid experiencing that awful gut sinking feeling, do it. The Synology systems speak to you about the health of your hard drives and they allow you to keep everything organized. You can set up multiple different backup systems, either backing up to the Synology or backing up from the Synology to another device to give you maximum peace of mind. Like I mentioned in my other video, just having a NAS and nothing else in your system isn't the ultimate and only solution. You will need to incorporate it into a fully comprehensive storage solution. And I'll explain how I've done that in my own setup at the end of the video. It's also likely to be much more secure from hacking. You can share it across your network within multiple rooms without it being something that someone could act access and hack into from the internet, like a Google Drive account or some sort of online backup system. It's also something that once you've bought, you own outright. You don't have to keep paying a subscription for having it. You literally own the storage and you can do whatever you want with it, however you want. The Synology systems offer something called RAID, which is a redundant array of independent disks. Put very simply, if one of the drives fails, the other ones can swoop in and save the day. Whereas if you just have one big clunky hard drive and something goes wrong with it, you could potentially just lose all of that data forever. I was so thoroughly impressed by how effective their software development is and how simple and easy it is to use, yet at the same time offering such a multiplicity of options. Is multiplicity the right word? Multiplicity. Yeah, cool. <laughs> all of which is going to allow you to finish up your studio session for the day or go on holiday somewhere and trust that all of your projects and ideas are safe so you can sleep soundly at night. Now on to reason number two, and that is versatility. These systems don't behave like a standard storage device, like a hard drive or an SSD. They are so intelligent, especially the Synology systems because of their software. They're set up to allow you to access the storage from literally anywhere in the world, whether that's different rooms within your studio premise or literally across the other side of the world so long as you've got a good internet connection. An example of this might be having your main NAS in a tech room within your studio premise and every other studio space within there has access to it directly via the network within your studio. So you could be working in studio A and need to transfer across to studio B or C. Any of those rooms you go into, you log into the other computer there and click into the NAS system and all of your files are still there and you can keep working. Or somebody could be working in a studio in Tokyo and you're working across in LA or here where I am in Scotland and you finished up an idea, you put it on the shared folder within your NAS and anyone with access to that folder can then log in and access those files. Obviously, if you're depending on the internet whilst sharing with people across the globe, that will affect the speeds that the system runs at. But when you're sharing it within your network, so within the same premise, it will be way faster putting the files on the NAS and having access to them in literally every room 
than having to unplug all of your devices and plug them into other ones or upload them to Google Drive and then have to download them again from Google Drive. Any of the platforms like Google Drive can do weird things to the folder hierarchy when you upload it and then need to download it and put it into a zip. Whereas when you access the drive from the NAS, it's as if it is a drive that is literally plugged into your computer across the other side of the world. And the versatility goes even deeper. You can change the access rights to different volumes or different pools on your NAS system. So you could give one terabyte to Studio A or Studio B or Studio C so that only the people that you give access to can see those parts of the storage. You could set up different shared portions of the storage to share with other creators and another portion of it that you keep private. You can expand your storage size as you expand with it too. So I have a six bay NAS. I can have six different drives in there. Say I have four six terabyte drives like I do at the moment, but I decide to add in two more. And then even those six terabyte drives aren't enough, I can take out those six terabyte drives and replace them with 14 terabyte drives. So the amount of storage that you can have access to gets pretty ridiculous. And not only that, you could then connect that NAS directly to another NAS and it can just keep expanding like that. The speeds that they can work at are getting quite ridiculous. Now mine has a one gigabit per second connection, which is still pretty rapid for reading and writing files and for accessing the files, but I can also convert that with relative ease to 10 gigabit bit per second and it just keeps getting more mind-blowing. You can literally work directly from it editing videos or working on music projects if your system is fast enough. What you can also do is connect external USB devices directly to the NAS so that you can transfer files on or off of the NAS with external USB devices and you can set up backup systems with those devices. And of course because it's wireless you can then access those devices anywhere in the world. So you can actually turn an external drive into a NAS by plugging it into the NAS and that's something that I've done. Because of the way that it connects using the network, you can have it in any room in the studio that you want. So you don't have to worry about whether the system is noisy or not, or if there are fans spinning, if you're using hard drives rather than SSDs, it doesn't matter. You can just put it in whichever room can be as noisy as it want to. And that of course is really important in a music studio where you need the sound to be pristine. You could also integrate it with another NAS system. So say you've got another creative on the other side of the world and they have their own NAS. You can tie the two together and share files back and forth between those NAS systems. You can have things backing up from your NAS to another NAS to another NAS and it goes on and on and on. It's pretty unbelievable. If we take a quick look just now at the software DSM-7, which comes with each Synology NAS, you can see I have some really handy tools across on the right telling you how much storage you have available, the health of that storage and whether you need to fix anything or change any of the hard drives out, the different tasks that it has done and completed. And then within the package center, you've got a huge number of different applications available for keeping on top of all of those files, backing them up, managing the security of them, creating your own media server, connecting to other USB devices, organizing all of your different videos. The list just keeps going on. And within file station, I can click in and access any of the other files I've got on external devices that are plugged into the NAS too. But you can also map the system directly to your file explorer like I have here and just use it as if it were any other storage device plugged into your computer. So I can go in and look at any of the footage that I've been working on recently and it works flawlessly as if it were right here in the studio. And I could also do this upstairs in my brother's studio if I wanted to on his laptop or on my own laptop because obviously I can connect to it from whatever computer I want. Also, this interface here is customizable so you can put whatever photos or things like that that you would like. It's a world above and beyond any other storage devices I've come across. So I could have come up with an idea and want to share it with my brother or pass it over to his computer or go and see what it sounds like up in his studio and I can just go straight up, connect to it directly from his laptop or I've filmed any videos, I've got some footage that he would like to use, he can just connect directly to the NAS and do what he wants with that footage. I can also create a portion on that storage for him specifically so that if he wants to use the NAS for backing up some of his own files, he can. So if the multiplicity of different uses that I've listed there doesn't amaze you, then I'm not really sure what will. And like I say, you can dive into even more of those more deeply. There's lots of different content and YouTube videos that will help you get started when you've got your own NAS. Two of the channels I've come across so far that seem to give really effective and simple explanations and help you set everything up are NAS compared and space Rex. With data storage and networking, this is the channel for you. Today we're going to be going over how to sync two different Synology NASs. They both put a lot of time into reviewing all the different NAS options to help you choose whichever one would be best for your setup and your needs at the moment, and then also run you through the setup step by step so that you get everything right. I'll link them both down below, check them out, say hi, tell them I sent you. Now on to the third reason you need a NAS in your setup, and that is professionalism. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, regardless of where you are on your journey 
as a producer, I think the sooner you can act more professionally with your setup, with your storage, the better. It's a really powerful habit and an important one to treat the management of your files and your storage seriously. It doesn't matter if you're not aiming to be a chart-topping artist, even if you just want to ensure that all of your memories that you've created, whether that's work in the studio or even just photos and videos from life in general because of course it's not exclusive to that you can store all of those files on there if you want and you know that they are accessible and that in 30 40 50 60 years you're going to be able to access them at any time but there's something really professional and high quality about someone saying oh do you have uh, an older mix of this track from four years ago and you can go oh yes it's just here and you can bring it back up straight away with no fuss it's something that could be quite easy to put off into the future and go okay two or three years from now when i can afford a really big system I will go for it. But you don't have to buy a six bay system from the very word go. You could just get a very simple two bay system where you put in two hard drives, you've got a little bit of redundancy and you've got the versatility that having the software also offers. And as things develop over time, you can expand your storage setup. To really understand all of these systems and how to use them effectively, there is a bit of a learning curve to understand them. So the sooner you start dipping your toes in this world and just getting to grips with it, the better. It can seem overwhelming to begin with, but the more that you explore it, the more you realize is that it all makes a lot of logical sense and it's just a really important thing to do. But of course you can just take it all one step at a time starting where you're at. Now I'm just going to give you a quick run through of how I have integrated it into my setup. I went over it briefly in my previous storage video along with what the other storage options are so if you want to understand better what those different devices are check that video out too. Essentially, I have all of my applications like FL Studio, video editing software, plugins, and so on, on the C drive of whichever computer I'm using. I then have an external SSD, the Samsung T7. I use that to store all of my projects, the project files, sample libraries, and sound banks. You could spread these across multiple different devices, depending on how many projects you've got going on at once. I keep it pretty simple with a projects folder and a project resources folder. So the resources are all the samples, the sound libraries, the video graphics, the overlays and the projects are all of the project files, the FLPs. When I've then finished up a project or I'm going to put it on pause and come back to it, I will put it onto backup Lacy 5 terabyte drives that I've got. One of them is for all of my Kobe stuff and one of them is for everything else, work that I do with other clients for videography, my bagpiping files, my life files, whether that's money, health, etc. Then those two 5 terabyte drives I back up to the NAS. So the NAS ultimately contains everything all of my project resources, all of my Kobe projects, and then all of my work projects with everybody else. I then plug in a really cool device to the NAS directly via the USB port on the front of the NAS, which is an internal drive dock, essentially turning internal hard drives, like the ones I have here, into an external drive. I can then access those drives directly to the NAS and back my NAS up to those drives. Now, obviously in the future, it would be great to expand to actually backing my NAS up to another NAS. But for now, this is what I'm working with and it's been great so far. Within that file system, I can back things up forward or backwards, as in I can back things up to the NAS or back things on the NAS up to other devices and it's just incredibly versatile. So there's a relatively comprehensive explanation as to why it's pretty awesome having a Synology NAS in the studio. And of course, my understanding of the system and the complexity of my system is just gonna keep growing as I do. I'll put links to Synology down below in the description. Go and check them out, explore and find something that works really well for you. I really hope that you find this video valuable and if you're getting started exploring the storage world, then I really hope this helps you navigate it. Check out all my other music videos come hang out in the discord and i really look forward to sharing the next video with you whatever that may be you can click on one of those right now but until then of course believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable bye